video on SMV OH trains and today I am reviewing the Atherin ready to roll. Um, I'm pretty sure these are called multi-purpose flat cars. Um, yeah, all-purpose flat car. And so I have two of them. This one is the American President line and there's the second one. Second one is the Terminal Railroad Alabama State Docks. Now, I've never heard of, I'm pretty sure these are railroads because they have train cars. I've never heard of that train car name before. So, if I get it wrong or feel free to correct me. I got these at a swap meet brand new for $10 each. And I heard retail, well, I actually looked it up. Retail, you go for like $20 to $30 um, new. And these were new, so I got them $10. I was like, okay, I'll get them. I thought it was a very good deal. And I needed a couple because I had some trailers I am putting on them. And then I'll show you that how they fit on afterwards. So we will look at one of them first. And as you can see, sorry, that one's a little bent there. So you have to separately apply all these um, parts. So well, this one, I have a couple pieces drying on that. I will review this multi-purpose flat car. So these flat cars, I've really only seen them with um, trailers. I've seen pictures of them with trailers and vehicles on them. I'm not sure what else you put on them. It did come with, it did look like it came with some parts in there to maybe put containers on them. But these are really nice flat cars, I think. Um, they're Atherin, ready to roll. Very good detail for what they are. And they have old metal wheels, not metal couplers, which is fine. Metal wheels is good enough, I think. They come in this really nice packaging. So it just comes in a cradle. And I will warn you, if you want to put the trailer pieces on, let me see if I can grab the instructions. That's not the instructions. Hold on. Sorry, guys. So if you want to put the trailer pieces on, so like, if you want to put the hitch mounts, see, if you want to put the, you have to build this. This is three different pieces. You have to build up and glue. Same with here, here. You also have to glue on the ramps. So the little ramp, the long ramp. Then you also have to glue on the little ramp of the long ramp, which they do push in so you can open and close them. But when you try to push them in, I broke the pins, the little pins on the side. So I just glued them instead because I really am not going <laughs> to be opening and closing them. And as you can see here, the glue I've used, if you can't tell, kind of took away some of the paint when I was gluing it. So it took away some of the paint here, which is fine. It's going to be covered by a semi truck anyways. But, so, to be able to glue these pieces on here, all come separately applied, or all come separate, then you have to glue them on. You have this little, not very <laughs> detailed instruction kit. It just kind of shows you the basics on how to assemble it. Then it shows you kind of ideas of where you want to glue them at. And then it just gives you a whole diagram of the 85 inch flat car. This is HO scale. And something I did not know is that Athrin, So, so if you look on the package, it says Atherin, and then right here, it says Horizon. So I'm not sure if they're, um, I'm assuming then that they're owned by Horizon Hobbies, which is actually interesting because Horizon, Horizon Hobbies owns a lot of things. They own Axial, which is rock collars, and they also own the plane company, for what the plane company is called. So anyways, let's get back to the flat car. So here is the, which one is this called? Sorry, guys. The American one. This one is called the Terminal Road Alabama State Docks Black Car. So I do think there's some pretty good detail along here. Um, you have, if you can't tell, you have eligible writing. So you got the road number, and then you have all like the little rules, and it kind of tells you what's restricted for. So all of this is eligible writing right here. Sorry. If you look, all of these little things you can actually read if you get up close enough. Maybe let's see if it'll focus. Yep. And yeah, it says port on the other side, port mobile. And you have even more writing. Now, I don't know a lot about these cars and I won't pretend like I do. So if you ever see anything that I don't point out, make sure to feel free in the comments and let me know what they are. See, we have some sort of, 
I don't know what this so I don't know a lot about these cars. I'm not sure what these would be used for. But you got some of this on each side. Oh, actually, no. You got some of it on one side. So you got a little bit of undercarriage detail here. There's the bottom. You have the truck. And like I said, the wheels are very nice. The wheels are metal, which is a good add-on. And then the couplers do come plastic which I do wish they were metal. And as you can tell, there's these very tiny little pieces. Now luckily the handle rails, so focus. See here, you do not have to apply them. You just have to be very careful that when you take it out of the box, they already are applied, but they are very fragile. So you can see how tiny they are. They're here and they're on all four sides of the car. They're just little, little tiny details. So you do gotta be very careful about these little details here. So I do think it's a very detailed um car for what you get for sure you got your side step here and like i said you got you got to glue these on you got your ramp your big ramp and your little ramp so the main idea is when you get your other you have another one you kind of set up the two ramps the big one to the small one the small one to the big one you see so when they fold down in real life it creates like a bridge you can actually load and unload and if you look on the top here you put your trailer hitches on. And it's got little details. And there we go. You can see. And each car is pretty much the same. The only thing that changes obviously is the color, the road number, and even some of the letters on the side here. And this one actually has a lot more writing on it. And it's all pretty much eligible reading. Yeah, even the super little one you can read. If my camera will focus on it. Oh, come on. Let's see if it'll focus. If it can focus on it, yeah. There you go. But you can actually read that too, which I think is insane. And the little detail is amazing on these cars. So I'll show you kind of where, so what's nice about this is that you put on the trailer attachments, you can put them on where you want, which is good. So if you want to fit a specific trailer, you can kind of move it around to make sure it fits your trailer instead of just having it be pre there and you have to choose from a certain amount. So let me go get the trailers really quick. Okay, so. I designed these each to fit a truck and a trailer. So as you can see here, we got a refrigerator one. It's got its refrigerator. It says McDonald's on the side, it's dip and dash, and then breakfast. So, kind of slide it on. You put, the cars do fit here nicely. And then, boom. And yeah, and so this one I glued the trailer hitch specifically where it can fit the truck and the trailer. Sorry, the trailer and the truck. So if you want me to do more details into these vehicles, just let me know and I'll make a detailed video off of those. These are HO scale. I know they look a little bit large, but I promise you they are. So those fit on there nicely. Then. And I did think about gluing these down, but I decided not to, just in case I ever wanted to change the load. And so that way I'm able to just take the trailers and trucks off easily. And for storage purposes, it'll also be easy to store them. And then I did the same thing with this one here. <coughs> Sorry. Let's put the trailer, boom. And then you can fit the truck. Just like, that. and they do look good. They do look good alone. And it also looks good with the load on it. Just so you know, these are, I wanna say 85 inch flat cars in real life. And even scaled down, they're pretty big for HL. The, the, the minimum radius is 22 inches. So just make sure if you're gonna run these on your layout, you have a big enough curve. Cause these are, these are pretty big trailers. But like I said, for being after ready to roll. They have really good detail. 
Um, if you ever find these, I'd recommend picking them up. And they'll look good with any load. Thank you for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to like and comment.